I was in the supermarket the other day and there was this dude in the aisle giving away free samples. Usually it's something healthy and good for you, so I just go at them as I walk by. But this time, it was little pieces of Krispy Kreme donut. So, needless to say, I ran right up to him and said, yes, please, I would like a sample of Krispy Kreme donut. And he gave it to me in a stupid little cup. And I grabbed it out of the cup, I ate it, and I said, oh, now I'll have another. And I planned on saying I'll have another, oh, many, many times in a row. And this douchebag says to me, no, I'm sorry, sir, it's one sample per customer. What a stupid rule. I was like, okay, it's like that, is it? So I left the store, but I came back in a clever disguise and I got another piece of donut. And I repeated that process 123 times that day, always in another brand new clever disguise. There were moments where it looked like he thought he recognized me, but he almost seemed afraid to say anything. It's probably just my imagination. I don't think I would be scary in that situation. But I got a total of 125 pieces of Krispy Kreme donut. Of course, to do the disguises, I had to go to the costumer store there. And I spent $213.49 on costumes. <laughs> but I got Krispy Kreme samples all day. Somebody should pair me up with Harley Quinn because I am clearly an evil genius. Okay, now let's do a family guy. Try not to laugh. Oh, you mean plum. You're saying the door is plum. Well, Brian, you do know all the lingo. <sighs> we had to open right. <laughs> Excuse me, right up on <laughs> more Brian Douchebag. Oh my god, he's so freaking pompous. Oh, plum. <laughs> Come on. That's just He doesn't even know what a plum line is. He can't. Stuff you pick up on the site. I'm gonna go use a miter to Jerry Rig a shim jam strap hinge quarter round soffit two by six dowel cherry picker flim flam. <sighs> She's really gone. <laughs> How is it possible to hate a fucking dog so much? <laughs> I don't know, but I'm doing it. <laughs> and she took little Susie with her. I miss that baby more than anything. Oh, I guess she left it here. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> oh, Jesus Christ, Joe. Okay. <laughs> I, guess... <laughs> I guess she left it here. All right, any, any uh, sympathy or empathy I'd been having for Joe may have just gone out the window by referring to his daughter as left it here. No, oh, I guess you left it here. Joe, I want you to know, I will Freaking not support that douche. relationship. If Brian and Bonnie get married, <laughs> I will not go. Peter, what you doing all dressed Good up? Good on you, sure. Peter. This ain't Easter. Wait, oh, wait to stand up for your friend. Clothes. You hosting Family Feud? No, I'm a pimp. Peter, what are you doing? <laughs> you hosting Family Feud? You're going out if I tell you you're going out, bitch. Okay. What? What's in your pimp cup? Uh, it's actually a wheatgrass ginger <laughs> mixture. I was in the middle of a cleanse. I didn't know we'd be doing this pimp thing, but I made a promise to my body. <laughs> <laughs> okay, Peter can be kind of a douche too, but for some reason it, it works better with him. <laughs> ah, not great. <laughs> yeah, you know this not. Is? It's a description of her every fantasy oh. and desire. This could finally be my key to... to what? Banging my mom? You know, you are the worst. Ladies. Although Brian... <laughs> okay, so that's Chris's move, no matter who's in the room, pretty much. <laughs> I told you guys, I'm becoming, from watching these clips, and I mean, I knew Family Guy well before we started doing these. I'm becoming more and more of a Chris fan all the time. You might want me to be his best man, then I'd have to go. And I'd have to dance. Yeah. It'd be weird to be best man and not and dance. not dance. And I'd have to give a, a toast and say that Bonnie's the best thing that ever happened to him. You know she is the best thing that ever happened to him. Ah, uh, a friend in a friend in need, a friend indeed. What the hell? I thought we were gonna get a ten dollar scoop of ice cream with all the millennials who can afford ten dollar scoops of ice cream but can't afford to move out of their parents' house. Yeah. We are, but first I need to pick up this wine <laughs> that Lois mentioned in the story. Good. Where is that part about the wine? You know, Rupert, Brian's douchiness. 
Oh, yeah, I got to rewind because I want to hear everything about Brian's douchiness. I mean, now it's it's always putting the the moves on someone. And the way he goes about it, I got no problem with somebody trying to get a little. It's well, just the way he goes so about it. It's always so skeevy. Wine. You know, Rupert, Brian's douchiness should infuriate me, but the truth is he seems happy. So I guess I'll just do nothing and that's that. No. No. Can't do it. Let's get him fired. <laughs> I was just gonna say that ain't gonna fly. <laughs> this, these are some good. These are some good segments now. But don't worry, Joe. I'll only refer to you as Bonnie's ex. You know, like Bonnie has an ex, but Brian marks the spot. Oh, Peter, that's good. Thanks, babe. I hope Brian and Bonnie are as happy as us. To Brian and Bonnie. Now let's go. <laughs> Joe seems less than enthused on sharing that toast, huh? Don't be a douche, Joe. I paid good money for you. I need answers. I want your best, and I won't stand for even one more stupid idea. You shake a boss of soda and give to him. When he open it, it explodes. No way. That's this good. This is why I pushed you. Oh, Brian getting slapped. Okay, this is going to be good. This is going to be a good sequence. Wow. I am sorry. Look, th th this isn't us. This is just the no food and sleeping in a car talking. We can make this work, like couples who meet on Craigslist. What the hell did we get to here? All I know is I wanted to hit him more, but I... I, I what happened? Couples who meet on Craigslist. Oh, boy. You're, You're not, not what you look, look like, like in your picture. picture. Let's, Let's get, get this, this over, over with. I wonder which one of us is the murderer. <laughs> <laughs> That's a great... <laughs> <laughs> well, all you can do, all you can do, big boy, is go inside and find out. <laughs> Everything will reveal itself in time. <laughs> ah, this is good. This is a great batch. Huh? I guess that Brian Griffin is a good egg after all. Uh oh, there it is. Griffin, you're fired. All right, Peter. Today we start helping you lose weight. First, let me just make sure you're not hiding any food in your clothes. <laughs> Oh. Taste. Taste. Taste of the rainbow. Peter, are you hiding Skittles in your pants? Is there, there's really a sensor for that? Uh oh. So I told my wife I stopped eating snacks. Sometimes Bonnie? I lie. Joe? How did you find me? Oh, well, I didn't realize. Powerful compass. I didn't realize that was Bonnie. She looks so it's different. Like okay, quiet my gotcha. Mind and clear my heart. It always leads me to you. Plus, Dirtbag here has a chip in his ear. I do? Damn it, no wonder Peter's so good at hide and seek. Quagmire's <laughs> <laughs> yard. Son of a bitch! <laughs> <laughs> they chipped him. I don't know why he would chip him, because who cares if he runs away, but, but they chipped him. <laughs> Is that all of them? <laughs> just, just give me a second. Oh, boy. Oh, okay. When I turned about 40, it started breaking up into two. Weekend plan? Please don't talk to me. I need to focus. Damn it. It's true. The Skittles come out sporadically as you get older, just so you, you guys are aware. Stewie, you got me fired. Oh, who are you kidding? You got yourself fired. Parading around there, pretending you know the first thing about tools. You know what? You're going down there with me right now to tell them what you did. Get your hands off me. I'll go floppy dead weight on you. That a boy, Stewie. Oh! Crap, my stomach. I guess. Oh, good. It hurt him. <laughs> really? Carrying Stewie was, was too much for you, huh, Brian? <laughs> Just call me Cupid, huh? <laughs> You're welcome. Oh! Damn it! Oh! Oh! Hey, buddy, came to try that apple pie you were texting about. Yes! Your shot. Oh, it's for your shot. <laughs> <laughs> so we've seen Stewie shoot him. Now we've seen Joe shoot him. Wait, I just I gotta watch that again. You're welcome. <laughs> oh, <damn it. laughs> hey, Bry, came to try that apple pie. That made me happy. I'm gonna have a good shot. day now. Oh, the strike ended a month ago. What? Why didn't <clears> you <throat> tell me? I did. Are you still GlennQ10 at AOL.com? No. Ah, well, there you go. I gotta hand it to you, Brian. You were a better blue collar guy than I expected. You finally earned this nice cold beer. Thanks, Stewie. There it is. You've literally never called Peter's. There it is. Nobody would see that coming. Sir. Well, I've never told you that I can't throw a boomerang, but it's true. <laughs> okay, that was 
See? I told you. Yeah, come on. I love stupid shit like that. <laughs> uh, this has been my favorite series of clips we've uh, we've hit in quite a while. But you know I have plans today to go see Pervert Hamlet. Oh, shit. To be with this skull sexually or not to be with this skull sexually. Oh, uh, go for it, Pervert Hamlet. What the hell? You got nothing else going on? That is the question and I answered when I was you got with a this skull big sword. sexually ah, there a you little go. while ago. Good, yes? good. Are you okay? Yeah. Listen, I, I never cared for Shakespeare, but maybe I need to revisit that. Uh. Jess? Are you guys still leaving? Oh, yeah, sorry. Oh yeah, you poor thing. You, you poor thing. Well, I'm not sure what happened with her, but uh, Brian's probably got duct tape and uh, chemicals Spray in his car. Are empty. What <clears throat> really? <laughs> How could such a thing have come well, to pass? Who would know, Chris? Yeah, there it is. <laughs> but before your mother gets back, everything. <laughs> <laughs> I'm telling you, Chris is awesome. Damage. We're throwing all this stuff out. <clears throat> As my trusty steed here, we have a special connection. Me being an equestrianist and everything. I had no idea you were into horses. Sexy, huh? No, seems like a hassle and expensive. How do you pay for it all? Well, the costs are meager when you're able to dominate and control the beast with just the slightest glance. Is it is this one accentuating what a pretentious douchebag he is, or is it just he's just a pretentious douchebag all the time, and this is just reflective of that? Oh, this is my vet. Hello. Oh, great. Well, some good news. That chocolate thing from the bucket list. We're all good. Let's do it. Oh Total my! Toblerone probably isn't the best thing for this. What was it? Toblerone. Oh, no, Toblerone is probably not. <laughs> Give him that one. <clears throat> Excuse me. Wait, you're throwing away Stewie's big wheel? Relax, it's not even his. I took it from a front lawn after a rainstorm. I thought they'd never leave Factory Red. Brian. Chris is in a relationship. <laughs> Just pretty much exactly the type of relationship one would expect he would be in. It would mean the world to me if you wore my tux from when I got married. I love you, buddy. Yeah, I'm not wearing a fat guy's old clothes. And what? Is this a flap on the butt of these pants? Yep. In case of emergencies, my invention. Called it the suit shoot. <laughs> Got it patented in 97 and went into business. Shot a local commercial and everything. <laughs> Suit shoot. All right, that, hey, come on. The man's always thinking, and typically he's thinking about pooping. So that's something that I can certainly respect. This guy here, not something I respect. 